What's up gamers? Welcome back to another Pro Guys video. If you like to look at the standings during solo cash cups, you've probably seen the name Kanata plenty of times. Kanata is just a complete beast of a player, guys. With three different first place runs in the solo cash cups, along with the second, two thirds, and even two fourth place finishes, my goodness. So listen, today we're gonna be doing an analysis on one of Kanata's solo cash cup end games to see just what he does to dominate like he does. But real quick, before we get started, I got a question for you guys, ready? Are you looking to get better at Fortnite? If you are, make your way over to ProGuys.com where we have exclusive courses for our pro members made by pros like Mongrel Guys, Benji, along with meta articles and videos to keep you updated on what's happening in the Fortnite scene. On top of all that awesome stuff, we also offer 24 seven on-demand coaching from some of the top players. So if you want any of this awesome stuff, you gotta head on over to ProGuys.com. Finally, the last thing before we get this video started, let's do the question of the day. Today's question is, what do you think is the best trait of a solo player? I think, you know, that amazing game sense is one of the most important traits, all right? Even if your mechanics are not all that great, you can still get by if you have great game sense. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back. Listen, this is the year to do the impossible. Did you hear me? It is the year to do the impossible. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care who you don't know. I don't care if you lack the resources. Listen, all things are possible. Take the ceiling off right now. There is no limitations. If you can believe it, I'm telling you, put your mind to it. Keep going. You can do it. 2020 is going to be the best year yet, but you got to believe it because I believe in you. So keep going. There is no excuses. I got three words. Go get that. Get it. Make it happen. You can do it. Connect with me on my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back, relax, and get my favorite candy. Come on, say it with me. It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. So this game is going to be from Kanata's second place run in the Cash Cup in late December. So this one is like relatively recent. The clip is from a pretty good late game, all right, where he started off with four kills and top 25. So let's just see how he handles the six and later zones in his games, all right? Because this is where Kanata shines the most. All right, so the first thing that I like to note is how Kanata uses so little materials in this rotation. Look at this. You know, we can see that he's not only using a super low material tunnel, but he's also building it out of wood to maximize his strong material count for the latest stages of the game. And alongside of this, he's way ahead of the zone, so he's gonna be able to look back for kills once the opportunity presents itself, all right? Also, here, what Kanata has to say about this current position. I'm gonna keep going. I don't need to look for any frogs right now. Frogs is not my issue. I'm not gonna do a little Instead of just looking for kills, Kanata knows he's about to hit top 15, so he doesn't wanna play like overly aggressive. Once you're in top 15, only 33% of players remaining are going to make it to top 5. So it's a bit more realistic to fight, right? However, when you're a few deaths off from placement and you're in a decent position like Kanata is here, there's really no reason to play aggressive and push for kills. Good call, Kanata. Gotta give it to you, buddy. Bravo, bravo. All right, so one thing I really like about Kanata here is like how he puts into words what he's thinking. He unfortunately falls down and he says this when he looks at his materials. I fall, and I fall because I suck, but it's fine. I boss up and I'm in zone here and I need an impact frog because my mats are really looking shambles. His materials are low now due to his mishap and he starts to look for a quick kill to refresh, also known as an impact frag. He looks for a kill, but also avoids W King like a psycho because he's only a few seconds off from placement points. Good idea. Once top 15 hits, I mean, I can almost guarantee you guys that he'll start looking for kills, all right? With the pressure of reaching top 15 being off of his shoulders, yes. All right, guys, so let's take a look at his engagement right here. Look at this. Kanata looks back and he sees a player struggling to rotate below him. He hits the player with his tack shotgun, but it was only on shield and there are 16 players left. So Kanata ultimately decides to make the placement play here. Playing placement in the later stages of the game, especially when you're close to a placement like top 25, 15, or even five, is a solid idea. And you should typically try to wait for a placement to get impact frags if you're in this situation that Kanata is currently in. So right here, and I mean right here, a pretty textbook play, cool. With the zone rolling back, Kanata decides to simply use an empty tart to rotate in, which is something we always recommend doing, all right? Using an enemy tarp to push into the zone is a great strategy, guys. And here's an example of why. 
Instead of just having to waste a ton of materials to tunnel on his own, Kanata gets to use an enemy tunnel and he gets as close as he can really get to a free rotation. When you're using an enemy tarp, it is so important, man, to just always be aware of your surroundings, though, you know, because there can always be that sneaky enemy who just got there before you or the original builder who decided to come back as well. So Kanata nearly runs out of materials right here, and immediately he looks toward the back of zone to find some quick impact frag. Pretty cool. Looking toward the back of zone is, is important, so the enemies you shoot at don't hold you. And also because most players on the far edge of zone are either low on health or materials, both of which you can abuse to get an easy kill. Look how flawless this is, my goodness. Kanata spots this player, somehow, and he picks up a pretty easy kill. Wait, no, that's not one kill. He got two kills right there. Just by looking into the storm? My goodness. I don't know how Kanata does it, but my goodness, this is impressive. Makes me say goodness a hundred times because it's so good. However, he still hasn't gotten a lot of materials, so he needs to continue looking. He decides to play it slow, and he stays near the edge of zone to try and get an impact frag he can actually loot. He breaks this floor open, and he spots a player running in from storm and picks up the easy kill. Come on. Since Kanata has four floppers, he can easily just tank this storm damage and just grab the materials and loot, right? He manages to grab almost 600 material, about 300 of which is brick and metal as well. Kanata tries to push for a better position, and he sees an opportunity for high ground with the top player only one level above. However, the zone pulls pretty far, and he knows he's going to be using all his materials to push into it. Tell us right now, like, what would you do right here? Would you try and push for height, or would you just head down to preserve your materials and play for top five? Well, instead of just risking all his materials and the impending top five placement, Kanata decides to waterfall down and play it safe for the time being. Okay, so as a result of his decision to waterfall down, he gets a nice top five placement and grabs a quick kill on a panicking opponent once the top five placement comes in. From here, four players are left, and Kanata has nearly full health and full shield. Okay, so bear in mind how calm and confident Kanata is right now. He's been in this situation before and has memorized what to do and how to do it. Yeah, confidence comes from experience. You know, playing with confidence and just remaining calm are just really super important. And it's gonna make you guys so much better. If you're struggling with this, okay, so we made a video on how to avoid panicking and choking, which you can find on the Pro Guys Fortnite channel. It will really help you. Kanata makes the smart play to stay in zone after getting shot at and waits for the other players to fight as much as possible before he pushes in for a few final fights. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, keep this in mind like whenever you're in in-game, all right? If you have floppers, you're completely set to tank some storm damage here which can help you avoid a bad fight. Wait for placement points, guys. Win a heal off or just like anything in between. After escaping this fight by tanking a bit of storm damage, he quickly tunnels into the next zone and he heals up. He heard his enemy shield crack, but decided not to push since the zone was far and he needed to get in and heal. Guys, let me tell you this. Never be afraid to disengage, especially in endgame. It can really be the difference between winning and losing. So in order to get into zone safely, Kanata had to use up a ton of materials, so he looks down to low ground for any players with low materials. He actually hears a player below, and he starts to plan his attack. Okay, so keep in mind that low ground is the best layer to get kills at, because most players there don't even have the health or materials to hold a mid or high ground position. So instead of just risking a fight with a strong health player on mid ground, Kanada surprises the player below with a few tack shots and he cleans up the kill. The player drops a lot of materials and a flopper as well. Okay, so after picking up that easy impact frag, Kanata sees there are two other players left and decides to push up since he hears them fighting. He tags the player below him on shield, but decides to push height since it's a better position to be in, especially in the final three. He scores a quick tag, builds back up, and yikes! Kanata with the pickaxe play. It's now a 1v1 in the final zone against a low ground player, and Kanata has a purple pump and a P90. There's really no question as to who wins this one. Come on. Kanata is like actually one of the best final zone 1v1 players we've ever seen. Okay, so look at how he controls height and just looks for easy peak shots on his opponent. Kanata plays super patient and he's properly rewarded. He beams the opponent who's focused on breaking him down and ultimately he stays on high ground with his floppers to close out the game when the opponent runs out of materials. So there's quite a bit of information to gain from this analysis and even with one late game, we can learn a lot. 
Okay, so first things first. One thing that helps Kanata a ton is his confidence. Everyone say confidence. And the ability to remain calm, even in the toughest situations. You know, even in a top five situation that he's almost guaranteed to lose, he stays calm and collected. And that's ultimately how he won the game. Second, Kanata's impact frag strategy of like looking for kills whenever he's low on materials. This works super well for him due to his insane mechanical skill and awareness and how he can just find players in the strangest of places and pick up kills. Also, one great way he raises his kill count is by looking around and storm for kills, like how he found those two easy kills with his scar early in the game. Third, Kanata's decision-making regarding what fights to take is honestly some of the best in the game. Instead of just taking fights over and over, he generally plays safe and for placement until he needs to impact frag. Whenever he's close to a placement barrier, like top 25, 15, or 5 even, you know, he generally just plays a lot safer and just waits for his points before taking any more fights. Fourth, by staying ahead of the zone, he's able to use less materials to rotate as he has to only cover his back. And he's also able to set himself up to look back and just pick up some easy kills on late rotators, which he's shown again and again as one of the best strategies you can use in the late game. Fifth, Kanata's ability just to push for height at the right time is honestly remarkable. Okay, so just think about how he heard the two players fighting at the end. Most players would have just stayed low to get top two and just technically make it, you know, into a 1v1 faster, right? But Kanata knows that being on low ground in the final 1v1 will absolutely destroy his chances of winning. And that making the quick push for height will not only almost guarantee him for the final kill, but also increase his chances of picking up both kills to get that extra point. And finally, the way he handles his final 1v1s to close out the game is just like a super safe and patient playstyle. Kanata waits for his opponent to be off guard, and he goes for peaks and easy shots, instead of just completely jumping on the player or going for a 50-50 bloom battle. Overall, Kanata is an absolutely insane player, man, in the late game. And by using his strategies and tactics in the later stages of your games, my goodness, guys, you're gonna be able to not only pick up a solid amount of kills, but like do it in style and pick up the win in the end as well. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're inspired to do great things, not only in this game, but also in life. Keep going, don't surrender. Like I said, yo, step outside of your comfort zone and do the impossible. There's greatness on the inside of you. I believe it. If you hear it, I'm talking to you. Keep going, guys. Connect with me on my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really hope you liked it and it helped you out. Go into your next game confident, knowing that you can use some of those strategies from the Cash Cup legend himself, yo, to increase your chances of winning the game and coming out with a ton of kills as well. If you enjoyed the video, we appreciate it a bunch, like a bunch of crunch. <laughs> if you could drop a like, subscribe, and maybe share the video with a few friends as well, okay? Remember to tell us in the comments what you'd like to see next on the channel. You know, we read all your comments and we're gonna consider every idea. Also, be sure to check out Pro Guys com for some amazing exclusive content that you're not going to find anywhere else but here. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.